Is there really life on other planets? Some former military and government personnel say they have proof there is. Elaine Quijano explains. We've seen the photographs and heard the stories of what some say is evidence of UFOs. Now a group of scientists, former Air Force and FAA officials, is lending its voice to the argument that we are not alone. Dr. Stephen Greer heads up the Disclosure Project, a group that compiles information from people who say they've encountered extraterrestrial forms of life. We can establish through this testimony that these objects of extraterrestrial origin have been tracked on radar going thousands of miles per hour, stopping and making right-hand turns. And Since 1993, Dr. Greer says he has videotaped testimony from more than 100 people about what they say are close encounters. People like retired Navy Commander Pilot Graham Bethune, who believes he saw a UFO 50 years ago while flying to Newfoundland. Then it appeared over to the right and moved out slowly and flew with us. It was still not at our altitude, but we could see the shape of it. It had a dome. In addition, the Disclosure Project says it has documents supporting its case, including FAA records and CIA memos. What do members plan to do with their information? They hope Congress and President Bush take notice. They want to see congressional hearings into the matter, despite criticism from skeptics. Those that don't want to believe you will never believe you anyway, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the truth. A spokesperson for the Senate Science, Technology and Space Committee says no congressional hearings are planned right now. Elaine Quijano, CNN Headline News, Washington.